it's Old Man Coffee, and I'm here at the Aria. Probably figured that out from the drive. Well, I'm supposed to meet up with uh, a couple of poker playing friends from the Westgate, and we're going to meet up at Poshburger. Uh, Scott, who I play poker with just about every day, has invited us to Poshburger for a hamburger. So uh, let's see how that goes, huh? That would be great. Hey Scott, awesome. Here, here's our host right here, Scott. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I've been telling the people about it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Awesome, so man. thanks for inviting me. I appreciate it. And, uh, and uh, Chris is going to come by, right? Chris is already in the poker room. Oh, he's in the poker room? Oh, hey. All right, okay. All right, well, we're going to wait for Chris, I guess. Well, we got our hamburgers. We're here, and uh, Scott ordered a bunch of uh, uh, onion rings. And uh, my doctor says I gotta stay away from the fried food, so Scott's gonna eat them. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. We ended up getting the uh, the double double cheeseburger. Oh, we got the jalapeno pop things. Wow, yeah, double cheeseburgers. Uh, me and Chris, we got double cheeseburgers. And uh, what kind of cheeseburger did you get? Double cheeseburger. Right, double, yeah. double cheeseburger. Sorry, we got double cheeseburger. And they got the dip going on here. As if Scott doesn't have enough onion rings. <laughs> no, 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 without the onion ring, but apparently they weren't uh, on top of that part of it. I'm going to remove the onion ring on there. Yeah, take that off there. It's kind of glued on there. Oh, it is. Really? All right. There you go. There we go. Well, I ordered the uh, double cheeseburger. Not the double double, but the double cheeseburger. And uh, with all the all this, all the trimmings, and it has cheese on it, which is really sticky, but uh, looks nice and thick. And uh, we're going to enjoy it. This hamburger is really good. Uh, the seasoning in the beef is really great. I re it's, they are really good. Uh, I don't know how they can improve and make a hundred dollar hamburger, but this fifteen dollar hamburger is well worth it. Very, very good. Two patties are very thick. Let's see if we can set a trip rep with a hundred dollar burger. <laughs> we can do the comparison. All right. All right. I think that's a challenge, isn't it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. We'll see. All right. Did you hear that, Trooper? Scott has challenged you to go hundred dollar hamburger and you do a comparison. So, uh, you got his number. Get with him. Well, thanks a lot, Scott. Appreciate it. It was really great. Uh, great meal. I mean, that, those hamburgers are good. They were really, really fantastic. Recommend Osberger, Ari, right next to the book group. Yep. The double cheeseburger. Easy to find. Great meal. Thanks again, Scott. We'll see you in the room. Thanks for joining me. See you over at the Westgate. Yes.
I'm back at the RV and that was a great hamburger at Posh Burger. If you're ever in Vegas and you get a chance to stop at the area there, right next to Poker Room, there's Posh Burger and they are really good, excellent. And I wonder if Trooper is going to take up Scott's challenge to a $100 Posh Burger and it's going to be his treat, but he wants you to compare that to any other burger in town. So Trooper, get a hold of Scott. And uh, I'm sure the viewers would like to see that comparison. The reason I didn't get the $100 Posh Burger is it has like a goose pate on it. And I've tried goose pate before and I don't like it. So I don't think it would be a good thing to expend to spend $100 on a hamburger that I'm probably not going to like. But if Trooper thinks he's going to like it, yeah, try it. So anyway, oh, I forgot something. Well, I almost forgot the most important thing. I stopped by the mailbox and I got a card from Ed. And he knows that I lived on a sailboat for 11 years. I sailed from Catalina Island, California to Biloxi, Mississippi uh, through the Panama Canal. I spent a year on my sailboat doing that. And then I sailed back down to the Caribbean and sailed another seven months a few years after that. Anyway, uh, included in that card was uh, $45 US. Thank you very much, Ed, for that. That's uh, greatly appreciated. And it will help support this channel tremendously. Gas for these RVs is going up. And I still want to take that trip that I'm planning to uh, cooler climates so that will help a lot thank you very much Ed well if you like this video please give it a thumbs up I'd appreciate it and subscribe and click that bell so you'll be notified when I put up another video and leave a comment I'll do the best I can to answer all the comments so this will be old man coffee saying Live your life to the fullest.